This Flamenco for You publication is presented to you by Flamenco for You founder and your personal instructor, Ben Stubbs. For more information and to receive free materials, news updates, and more, subscribe to Ben's newsletter at flamencoforyou.com. And now, here's your instructor, Ben Stubbs. How you doing there? Ben Stubbs of flamencoforyou.com and the Flamenco Guitar Podcast. Today we're going to continue our series of chord changes, this time in uh, D7, F sharp, and G major. And a little disclaimer about the guitar, sorry about this. This is a $4 guitar that I got from the Tianguis uh, here in Mexico. It's the guitar that I have right now. Uh, there's a little guitar mishap uh, that happened on the way. But nonetheless, here we are. So let's get to it. So we have our D7, F sharp. And how we make that... Uh, is with our second finger here on the second fret of the sixth string, third finger here on the second fret of the G string, and first finger on the first fret of the B string, okay? And the next chord is G major, which you may already know. If you don't, it's the second finger here on the third fret of the sixth string, first finger here on the second fret of the A string, and what I prefer to use is my fourth finger on the third fret of the E string. Okay, so you have these pair of chords that are fit very nicely for Garotin. So if you've got your uh, tabs right now, you can print it out. The first bar is your first chord, the D7 F sharp, okay? That's four beats, one, two, three, four. And the next bar is your G major chord, one, two, three, four, okay? Simple, right? Seems simple, but these are actually hard chords to uh, switch between. I know when I first learned the first chord, the D7 F sharp, that was tough for me, and especially going on to the G major. So here's the tip that I, I like to give to my students, is that once you form your chord, just squeeze the heck out of it for a good five to 10 seconds, okay? If it hurts, it hurts. Now start thinking about the next chord that you need to change to. Just relax your fingers. You'll notice that they're fused in the shape that they were being held in the chord, okay? Until you stretch them out. Once you stretch them out, you've lost the memory of the fingers, okay? For that particular chord. Okay, now start thinking about the next chord, which is G major. Hold it for five, 10 seconds and then take your fingers away. Think about the next chord you're gonna play, which is the D7 F sharp. Think about it really hard. Try and feel it in your hand before you even move your fingers. And then go to it. If you have trouble doing that, just look at your um, chart that you can print out and use that as your reference. Then you have exercise number two, which is uh, eighth notes now. So now you're going down, up, down, up. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Now that's done with M and A and P. Down M A and then up P. Like that. Okay, that's exercise number two. Now for exercise number three, we're going to follow the compas of the crescendo part of Garrotin, which is a little bit like um, rumba. It's going to start out with your, uh, your golpe. We're going to do it with A finger, okay, on the body of the guitar. And then upward P, pulgar, downward M and A, upward pulgar. And then again, upward pulgar, downward MA, and then up pulgar again. So it would be like this. One, two, three, four. Up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Okay? And then for G, you have the same pattern for the right hand, but in G major. see it if you're looking at my right hand all it's doing is going down up down up down up down up okay just like it does with the rumba if you've seen uh, the rumba video uh, or if you haven't seen that go check that out so if you notice the hand it just goes up and down that's all it's all about the accents really so if you notice the right hand all it's doing is it's just moving up and down up and down 
it's only the accents that make it seem like it's going one direction or the other at any given time, but really it's quite simple. So if you look at the right hand, all that's happening with it is it's just moving up and down, up and down. It's only that you're hearing accents that might make your ear think that um, something's going on that's more complex when really all you're doing is starting out with your golpe, up, down, up, okay? And you're continuing that movement. Up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, slow it down. Up, down, up, 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 up, down, up. That's what's happening. Just down, up, down, up, down, up. It's only because some notes get hit with more of an accent than other ones. Okay? So I hope that helps for our chord changes between these um, unique pair of chords that we can use for Garotin. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. For more information and to receive free materials, news updates, and more, subscribe to Ben's newsletter at flamencoforyou.com.